Hello everyone, this is GamerCat09, and welcome back to more Little Hope. We are going to be replaying the entirety of the game to try to save Taylor, and try to pick up what we missed, and see if we can just make a little bit better decisions to hopefully save everybody in the end. And then after we do this one over, then our next playthrough will be the Curator's Cut, which is the alternate path through the story. So we're just going to start over from the beginning. Um, we could save over this one because we didn't really do anything differently. We'll just start it over. But, uh, we, we tried at the end of the last playthrough to redo it a little bit to see if there was a way to save Taylor if we saved Daniel, and there isn't. So I think the choices that I made in the beginning with Taylor altered everything. But the good news is, is since we collected a lot on our first run, I don't have to reread everything that I've collected. So we can kind of get the cliff note version of things. Um, which will be a little bit quicker. And since I kind of know what to do now... And chat is going to help me with picking up stuff that I have missed along the way. And for that, for Crystal, um... I just kind of want you to, to follow along like with the chapters or like the where I am in the game to kind of tell me like, okay, there's there's something in this area to collect or whatever. Or if I've missed something to let me know before I progress to the next part. So we get to watch this all over again. Rewatching this from the beginning, knowing what I know, is so weird. And look, there's multiple heads in the, the bus. There's multiple heads on the bus. See them all? But they're dark, so like... It's so weird. That's so strange. Yes, that will be helpful, Crystal. Thank you. I just, I, I can't get over. It was the bus driver the whole time. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. So weird. It is possible that Maybe they do exist and nobody else can see them, or that we need to unveil more of the story to figure out what exactly they are. Rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? Days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first ninety days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. <laughs> going the wrong way it's fine just a quick detour it's not fine calm down it's all okay oh please john could you not patronize me could you keep it down please That's a little extreme of him to crash the bus in such a way because of a girl that disappeared in the middle of the road, you know what I mean? 
that's that's a little bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Stop it, Shane. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. <laughs> Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. That's, that statement makes me think they were all adopted in this <gasps> lifetime. Like, if we'd had kids of our own. Not tonight. No way. Like, those kids were adopted. Adopted, fostered, something. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. His character looks better with this hair than the other cult. hair. I think. He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> um, I'm going to keep my options the same unless... Like, maybe for Taylor's, I'll try to be more kind and sincere about it and not... Hey, Bigfoot! Find um, the goddamn vinyl, will you? Angry. Um... It was an accident. There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. I'm trying to be nice, basically. I don't know. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. I can't believe that's him. Ugh. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Disappointed. He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got home. They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> it will be one day. I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Being Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! It's like, 
creepy. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Poor kid. That's why I feel bad for her. Like, she's talking to some demon. That's the key that was at the end of the game. In the clock. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Mm, concerned. Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Maybe we can check the clock. I can't... Okay, so I have to pick up the matches. Right? Can we go back and blow up the fire? If only. I'm sure it won't let me. <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. You need to keep an eye on your Mom daughter. Worried about her. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Okay. Where is the clock? I hear it. I don't know where it is, though. So I'm just gonna... Perfect distraction from this madhouse. I've picked up a lot of this stuff, so I'm just going to quickly examine things. Okay. Up there. there. Check the door. It's locked. It's over here. There's the key. Can I check the clock? No, I can't. Can I check anything in here? No. What's in here? Son of a bitch clock. That was a little scary. I don't think it's ever done that to me before. Nope. Okay. Kitchen. So we're going to get the... We're going to look at the report card. Yep. Okay. Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Yep. Failing class. There's a TV in here. I don't want to go out there. I want to 
Wait, can I go in here? I can't. I couldn't go in there before either. All right, let's go to upstairs. Hey, Tanya. You up there? Okay, she say, he's saying How's Tanya. How's doing? Don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. You're all about quiet. Yeah. Because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. So one person is saying Tanya, the other one's saying Tanya. Does nobody know how to pronounce? I, I've, I'm going to pronounce it Tanya, because that's Anthony, what I know. Where the hell are you? I'm, Anthony, where are you, God damn I it. guess I can't go upstairs, can I? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Nope, it won't let me upstairs. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Hmm. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Like, that's creepy. What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. So that doll, she had a doll that burned. And then at the end of the game, we burned a doll. She's always had a doll. Shit. Isn't that Megan. weird? You in there? I didn't notice Tanya's necklace, actually. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Oh yeah, it's a moon. You're right. Megan! Honestly, Dennis is in the worst place. So is the mom. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! Help! Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic! Okay, I'm gonna try to make her not go down the gutter. Even though they're all gonna die anyway, but... This is true. The, the mom has no window. She runs upstairs. Like, Jesus. So the mom suffocates, the dad gets crushed, the little girl catches on fire. Help! I want to help Tanya. She dies anyway. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Um. Use the window. Try the window! Hurry!
crawl on the floor. Hasn't anyone ever taught you how to get through a burning house? Oh god. She died a different way. Tanya? Tanya, say something. She died a different way. He died the same way. So she's not hanged now. She got burned. I'm curious now. Hmm. He's the judge! He's the judge! The judge is in the beginning! why I like playing it a second time because I'm noticing this stuff like wait what hello hello and welcome I don't believe that we've met before have we yes we have no actually matter. welcome to my repository I am the curator the guardian of all these wonderful stories and I have a very special tale for you to tell Oh, I know. Lights all the books on fire. <laughs> no, I never did, Glenn. I never tried to find the bathroom there. Disconcerting, no? Oh, you mean he I'm sure there's nothing to worry. About. That was a joke. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe. Thank you, Darkest Mind. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the, the Cat Family. You choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional, do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. I wonder if that's a hint on how we decided throughout the stuff because a lot of the stuff I did heart and head. I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> supposed to interfere you see not my place apparently of course it is i'll let you but i am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where i feel that that would be appropriate oh one final thing before i let you go there are pictures in little hope that will, if found, show you a vision of kitty. a possible future. Oh, we can do the kitty! Or may I'm not so excited. Happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Chop, chop. Have a good time. Yes, Crystal, there is. In the bottom 
left corner of the screen, it will show you like a title of something. So I think there might be one here, but we go we don't play it. I think it only goes the areas we play, maybe. I could be wrong. Yeah, no impulse button pressing. I won't this time. None of us here today can understand. The priest why is Carver! But the priest is Carver. Knowledge that the family are together for eternity. The priest. In God's loving embrace. The sun. Vince is holding the sun. I hate knowing this. <laughs> so weird. All the things. Also, I didn't notice the curator in the back of any of this shit. Did you? I tried to look the first time and I didn't find him. He was all over Man of Medan, but maybe that's why he said, I'm apparently not supposed to help you. Maybe that's like his way out, like he's not allowed to be in there. Andrew, 18, college student, anxious, detached. <clears throat> the curator's behind you this whole time, could you imagine? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. So is Andrew the youngest? John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing? Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. See, this is the bus, bus crash site. That's the chapter. Uh, instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How's he doing? How is he doing anyway? Doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Compliant. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Nobody does this to hey, look for Andrew, buddy. How you doing? for service. No Where one. Are we? <laughs> what happened? Okay. The bus crashed. We're okay though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion. I don't remember being in a crash. I'm leaning time. against a bus. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Surprised nobody has broken bones. That's what I'm surprised about. Daniel, 20. College student. Amiable. Fuck. Defensive. Where's my phone? So, Andrew is still the youngest. He's at 18. So we have 18, <sighs> 20, 22. Angela, 48. So she's the oldest. Abrasive, understanding. Mature student. Hey, anyone up there? She's older than John. Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <laughs> yep, the, the wheel does have blood on it, like hey, a head Taylor. wound. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. R who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, 
get some it's help, a full moon. think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Reluctant? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Puzzled. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Reassuring. Let's go. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Instead of arguing with him. Yeah, the marks on her neck is gone too. You are right. And... Okay, so Crystal, there's a secret in this chapter? Is it back here? Hey. That's the wrong way. I know. We should walk towards town. I want All three to, of us together. I want to look at things. Okay, can't look at things. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that Ooh. and ditching us. There's a thing here. Maybe you didn't realize. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? <coughs> How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Cheery! Easy, that outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. You staying here all night? We're going to keep moving. See ya. The little girl's there. She was there the whole time. Okay, I can inspect again. Ooh. There may be hidden information. Where? I don't see any. A boogaboo? Okay. On the windshield? Let me see if I can look back on the windshield. Oh, yeah, on the ground. The book, The Wild Magic. A history of modern paganism. Or is it paganism? It's paganism, right? An eye-opener weekly report clears up many historical misconceptions inspirational work and jackson the evening observer a fascinating insight american books magazine in the wild magic a histor a history of modern paganism dutton takes us on an introductory tour of the rich and complex history of modern paganism he reflects on its origins and persecution during the early christianity through its evolution acceptance and growing popularity in the world today hmm Oh, the moon! That that was the thing that, that she was wearing. Thank you, Crystal. Chapter 4, Objects Associated with Pagan Beliefs. For centuries, sacred objects have, excuse me, been associated with pagan worship. Objects do not hold power, but focus and channel the user's energy. Their form carries meaning. Objects can help connect with ancestors, seek spiritual answers, permit deep, permit deep, permit deep introspective thinking or interpret messages from the cosmos sacred objects are important in all aspects of paganism 
Objects such as the pentacle, moon, and crystals carry seasonal significance and have deep connections to the soil and nature. The Wiccan year is an agricultural cycle that begins and ends with Yule, the winter solstice that marks the death and rebirth of the sun. Objects such as Bolin, Bolin and Chalice relate to special dates such as the start and the end of harvest. Figure one, which is the thing on the left, the on, on the left side of the page, the little hook circle thing. Gear wheels are ornamental, but the bowline the bowline has practice practical use in the ceremony for cutting herbs or cords. Paganism is eclectic. A variety of sacral objects demonstrates their uses are passed down through the tradition and esoteric knowledge. Some pagans keep a book of shadows, a record of the objects should be used. Figure two, which is the moon. The moon is often used as a focus for cyc cyclical ceremonies and the and is often regarded as feminine in aspect associated with intuition and secrets. And her necklace, ta so Taylor, well, Tanya was pagan, I guess, because Tanya had the crescent moon. And I hear animals in the background. Um, tools. Sacral objects are tools, often with a utilitarian purpose. The bowline, staff, and lancet are not venerated, but employed in ritual. They are transformative, advancing the ceremony through cutting, piercing, or sound. Practicing pagans find that making their own tools enhance the spiritual connection. However, not all objects need to be purchased or made. Found objects such as household items make effective substitutes, such as a teacup for substituting a chalice. Cool. Learn stuff. She's like, all right, that was a good read. I'm going to put it back. <laughs> yeah, I would not have looked at that. <laughs> Moon prison power. So we, we already looked down there. Oh, there's a thing over here. Who's that? Oh, there's a stick figure thing here. Okay. So we started seeing them already. <laughs> I also noticed the little, um, the little mouse skulls that are everywhere. And I, I thought about this the other day, but the black cat that's wandering around must be eating the mice and leaving the bones because they don't always eat all of the bones. So, then again, the mouse skulls, sometimes they would just leave like heads lying around. Like they, they sometimes they, or they only bite off the head. It depends what kind of cat you have, I guess, but. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Curious. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Curious. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <sighs> I just yeah, read one back there. Everything you got with just a smile. I just read one back there. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. I just read one, dude. Just literally, just literally read one. Do I have to inspect this again? No. Okay. It's well lit over here and everything's broken. It's kind of Good to see you. Oh, too. never mind. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good. But this gate is chained. We can't get through. Climb it? Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? Yep. Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, 
One. Push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Mm. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Impatient. Can we get going without having a smart ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your ass. Why is that? I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Why is that? Civil. Costs nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Scornful? I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? There's the no right answer. You causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? How about we redo that part? Because I feel like that's ruining my chance. You might be right. I, ha I always have a habit of like, I want to say something over nothing and I'm ruining it. Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. I'm going to say nothing. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I didn't say anything. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Costs nothing. I'm trying That's to be. Rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Say nothing. Well, that certainly shut you up. Oh, God, Wait, Angela. The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting value Damn. time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. And then boom. You get lost? No. Back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. See, they're holding hands, but they're like, they're, they're, they don't want to admit their relationship. What? what? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. She's such a coward when she's by herself, but like when she's in a group of people, she's like, yeah, fuck everybody. I'm old.
Angela is what my cat Dolly should be. <laughs> like if you if you ever want to know what Dolly's like, she's she's Angela. I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what can we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Why is there an echo? Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. Why is it echoey though? I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they could do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out Maybe of here. Maybe it isn't Why real. Why is it football coaching? Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. Mm. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Hmm. No, they didn't even try the radio on the bus. They were just like, oh, our bus driver's gone. We gotta go find him. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. There's probably stuff this way. Yes, there is. There's a car. And there's something shiny over here. What is this? A postcard! I missed this. Kitty! A gun. Who finds the gun? Okay. Okay, Daniel's with me. Nothing here, but that. I betcha. Can't go this way. This is probably like the curator's path to go. Okay. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Kitty! I want the kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I want the kitty. Gonna get the kitty, kitty. Where'd he go? Kitty? K kitty? Kitty? Oh. Damn it. I want the kitty. Yeah, I don't know what kind of bus that is considered, but... I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Nothing over there. Guess I we gotta go into the place. A great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. 
Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you talk about? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Gleeful? Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> Daniel liked that, so... I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Well, you know that it's a good place to figure that out Is right now. All night, or are we going inside? Well, they're waiting for us. Also, I don't understand the- oof, that scared me. I don't understand the secrecy about the whole relationship thing, unless that's more story we have to unlock. Look around the bar, okay. Hi there. How you doing? This is just so creepy to me. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> He's like, you are a fucking bus driver. Yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. So he can't sense. hear any of the other characters. You need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know, but we don't all go with it. Is there a phone in here? Is there a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone, but it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> Uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. <sighs> yeah, Vince is only he's talking to own. Andrew. He's not talking to anybody else. He's no, not even acknowledging George. people. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, 
Almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> mm hmm You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Okay. So let's um check our secrets. Okay, so we still unlocked stuff. We still have all the previous stuff unlocked. Poppets are a focus for sympathetic magic. Mmm. So we learned something. Yep. It's been damaged. A focus of sympathetic magic. Um, Reverend Carpson was helping to discipline Megan. Child's drawing shows a small girl with a doll while a figure looms over her. Wedding photo, James and Anne. Remains of a grandfather clock and old keys and hi is hidden inside. Okay. And then the bearings. Team Taylor. Taylor agreed with John's plan to head into town. So that's a positive thing. The stranger. Old man introduced himself to the group as Vince. Girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control and crashed the bus. John refused the offer of a drink in the bar. So these are the things that we're doing. And then the pictures. We have the new kitty one. We got this one. Which I think was the... Yeah. That's for the next game. And that was for the sledgehammer. And being crushed. So we're missing... One, two, three, four pictures, it looks like. Okay. So with Andrew, nothing yet. Taylor, all good. Cool. So, so far so good. So we need to do some stuff here. I don't want to check the phone first. I want to check the other stuff, so... We have this, which we've read before. Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. Okay. All the factories closed down. And then we have this. Which I don't know what LS and RT are. This place has some great history. I don't know what the numbers are. And then there is a paper. It's a picture. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Okay. So... We got that. So that so it was 1329 and 45, which we got. We already have them. Okay. There they all are, just casually sitting around. Time to check the phone, that won't work. Dead. Hello? I want to edit that Fuck. part. I want to edit that part to go, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Anyone remember Silent Hill 3 reference? I'd love it. Someone needs to do that for me, please. It'd be great. It'd be wonderful. I'd love it so much. Can I talk to him? Yes, I can. <clears throat> Good 
get some extra dialogue. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. Are you okay? You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Uh, say nothing. I don't want to piss him off. Little hope is over, gone now. Only thing here now is ghosts from the past. Mm-hmm. Traits updated. Compassionate. Um. Yeah. So. Okay, so we just gotta leave now. Because there's nothing else here for us. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? Nah. Definitely heard it's just in your something. head. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. He's like, I'm gonna play darts. Nope, he didn't yell at us this time because I didn't aggravate him. If the choices are not good choices, I'm gonna try to be quiet on them. It's coming from the If town. I mess it up, I'll try to redo that part. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Mm. Okay, so two Heading and the little hope feels like our only option. Two and six are in this chapter, which I have. Okay. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? So let's get this. Already got that. So, if he has a gun, presumably a monster, but we don't know. I still haven't figured out where the gun is. I have not found the gun on my first playthrough. So, it'll be interesting to see if we can find a gun. And then hopefully not fuck it up. But if we do, we'll go back. Can we look back in the... Yep, he's still sitting there. Drinking. You know, it's sad when you think about it because he has so much history with this place and he's probably so lonely because his girlfriend died that he just sits here. He might come and visit this place and just sit here and just soak it in and just dwell in the memories. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. I'm trying to find places. There's a thing over here. Yep, we looked at this. Boogaboo. Again, blood and little mouse skulls everywhere. Boogaboo? What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough. Thank you. There's the girl. Apologetic. I'm sorry. I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, 
or your morbid interest in it? Mm, uncertain. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. God, Angel is such a natural bitch. I'm sympathetic. Hooray! That's you a good thing. You need to make an effort to keep up. You need to make an effort and look for things, John. Ooh. Booga boo. Booga boo. Booga boo. I was looking at you and it didn't register. Whoop de doo. And for the record, for anybody new watching, whenever I say boogaboo, that kind of is a hint for I'm expecting a pop-up scare. <laughs> that is my telltale pop-up hey, scare can jingle. You here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Insistent. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Let's find the others. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. <laughs> That's a new... A new thing. I believe. Newish. Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. I don't know. Let's stand here and find out. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Boo -boo. No. Can't walk that way either. Stay close to Angela and find the others. We are lost. We are lost. We're gonna die. We are lost. Hey, wait for us. Get full of what is that? Hush now. Hush now. I don't know what a tissue means, but... Hey. Come and check this out. The doll! What on earth is that? Not a clue. Yeah, I think in that one scene, the first playthrough, we saw something, but I don't think the figure looked like that. I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly, but I thought it looked different. And a bookaboo! A bookaboo! What is your name, sir? I am Andrew, ma'am. Polite. Um, Andrew? Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What much trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see how you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. By the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. <laughs> Could you imagine saying that and then someone walking up to you and be like, what, what fucking too. fire are you talking about? Are you okay? <sighs> Did you see that? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything. Oh, why is that? Impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. 
a little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? Consider it. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. I'm not going to change my decision because the only person we got killed in the end when we tried again was um, Taylor. So I think if we keep our decisions the way that it is, it should be okay. We just have to focus on Taylor's. I could be wrong. Maybe I have to perfect it to save everybody. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Well, that escalated rather quickly everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually mm -hmm. don't you think mm -hmm. don't look at me i can't help you remember he's so frustrated he's like so pissed he can't be a part of the game we sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream it may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past the little girl who may be in trouble she is in trouble i know she is or maybe she simply is trouble no she's in trouble anyway where are we angela isn't getting much tittle tattle out of taylor <laughs> no kiss and tell what about john the figure of authority perhaps or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. Yes. So far, so good. You're doing well. Yay! That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. He wasn't rude. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Which is understandable. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Find the Off bus driver. Again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I love it's in caps. Find the bus driver. I also love everybody's accent. 